Here we go. Catching up. Get him on the inside. Come on. Tuck in. Yep, yeah, he went wide. Ooh, but he got a better shot out of the corner. If you can do that consistently, you can be best in the world. Hello, folks. Welcome to the Cruiser RC. VRC Worlds Spec Classes. Let me show you how I did. Right, there's actually an event on right now through VRC. It's VRC Your World's Spec Buggy 2020 laps at in Barco. Minutes and, and I've just done my first qualifying seconds. attempt, and I got 13 laps in 8 minutes, 34 seconds. This was my first attempt. I really didn't even practice that much. I had a couple of bad laps, a 44-second lap and a 35-second lap. Let's see how I did in the overall standings. This is a world-class event, so everyone who has VRC can play this. And let's see where I'm landing right now. I'm currently in position number 24 in my first attempt. Out of uh, 120 racers are in this, and I'm in the top 24. Tweak a couple of things, try again, and we'll see how far up this qualifying I can make it. This qualifying ends in two days, five hours, and then there's a semifinals and a finals. Try and make one video all about this event, which is the 2020 VRC Worlds 1.8 Electric. You have finished. 90% official track Good record night. on my second qualifying attempt. Let's see what that brings me up to. Nice. I think that was for because I did one lap that was really fast. I, lap four was 36.034. Okay, we're kind of all over the place for consistency. I'm kind of bad here in the middle, and then I started getting better again. It's just if I can concentrate and stop overshooting my corners, I can get into a 35 second lap. Brought me up four more spots. I'm now in position number 21. Let's see if I can do better. Just finished my third qualifier, and I was able to break into those 35 Your second laps. I got uh, two 35 laps second laps, I believe. My best lap is a 35.73. So we'll see how much further I made up in the standings this time. Average lap 37.6. I still had a couple of long ones, a uh, couple of 40 second laps. I need to stop getting the 40 second laps and then I'll be in much better shape. That was 13 and 809. That should move me up again in the standing. So I went from 24th to 21 and now I'm in 15th. Yes, nice. Uh, I just ran my first semi qualifier. That was a nine minute race and uh, I did 14 laps. My fastest lap was a 36.1, average lap 38.6, but I had a couple of stinkers, uh, 43.8, a couple of 40s, really not a great showing. I'm going to keep trying. I get six chances, but let's see how I landed after my first attempt and semi qualifying ends in one day, 14 hours. So I'm currently in now position 29th. So I got some work to do. I know I can get faster. Just got to keep working at it. Okay, just finished my semi qualifiers. This was my last run, not my best run, because I got a 47 second lap, a 42 second lap, a 44 second lap, and a 40 second lap. That's not good, but uh, I will show you my best time, which was my fifth run. So my best run was 15 laps in 931. And even that one had a few mistakes in it. So let me just jump over to the web. And you can see here my best run had a couple of 40 second laps, I believe. Yeah, I had a 41 second lap with a Marshall, a 40 second lap with a Marshall, and my second to last lap, a really bad one, 43.9. If I had to tighten those up, it would have been a lot better. I was really hoping to get up close with Brian. Brian had an excellent run. Brian Nesbitt is a guy local that I race with. He only had one marshal, and even then it was a 39 second lap. He did consistent 36s, 35s, a couple of 37s. It was a great run for him. But just an example of what the best people are doing, and this is in uh, club spec, I believe. So this person, Andy Jesperson, is doing 33 second laps, 33, 34. And I believe the very best of the best people, there's a way you can sort by pro. That was all club people. So club, sport, pro. The best in the world right now. This is a world event. Tony Duncan from the USA. He did 16 laps in 904 and he was getting, oh, again, 33 to 34 second laps. All right, I was mistaken. It's just that if you can do that consistently, you can be best in the world. The semifinals ends in 14 hours from the time that I'm recording this and then I will show you my main. So once everyone's clocked in, I'll show you my final main race. Oh, okay, just finished my finals. This is not my best run, but uh, I was on track to being my best run except for the uh, the 42 second lap and my last uh, lap was a 38 second. If I had to shave those ones off, I would have been better than my best run. But anyway, I'll show you the main racing, but overall I think I did pretty well. I'm currently sitting 
at top of the sea main. There's still a few hours left in the event, 14 hours left that people could knock me off my podium. But currently I'm sitting at the top of the sea main with a 16 laps in 1015. I'm pretty impressed with that. That is a kind of a B main time. If I look at the web results right now, we'll see how I do in the finals and then I'll show you one of the races or highlights from the race. I've now completed the qualifying, semi-qualifying, and the finals of the VRC World's e-buggy spec class. That was through the first maybe two weeks of June, a long period of time. Let me show you my C-Main race and we'll see how I did. All right, we're loading in my, my main C-Main race. Now this is with maybe six to eight drivers at club Welcome level. This track. Because this Enjoy was a world event. Racing. Because this was a world event, they cut it up into club, sport, and pro, and it's based on your cumulative uh, points and performance throughout the year of playing the game, I guess. It automatically classifies you. I'm currently in club level, but when I look at my stats now, I've, I've kind of moved up to that next tier, but I'm still in club level. So here's the starting position. I'm starting in Five, position 9. Four, and three. then here comes the race. I believe this is a 10-minute main. Wow, the leader's all black. That's an interesting choice. It's funny how everyone's solid colors, but me. <laughs> all right, this is at Barco, Italy. This is what I called Bumpy Barco previously. So I'm gonna go to driver stand view so we get to see myself and click to me. I'm currently in last. So I'm behind everyone. There are seven drivers in this. Let's see how I do. So I'm looking to start passing some people immediately on this first lap. Uh, come around here. I played this track quite a bit. Uh, I was never able to get it absolutely perfect, but I feel like I got my braking zones down. I figured out where I can go fast, where I need to slow down to uh, to try and speed up and try and make very little mistakes. That's the whole point. Don't get marshaled. You get marshaled, you lose five seconds immediately. So try and get through your whole event with no marshals was the goal. I can't remember if I was able to do that or not, but I've already in first lap uh, moved up one or two positions. It's showing me one position ahead, but I'm actually two cars ahead right now, according to the, the track layout. But you can see how bumpy that is over in that section over there. Very bumpy track. You, there's a nice groove in some spots, but it's hard to visualize where that is. And I always play from this uh, driver stand view. They call it rostrum view, I believe. Uh, it just seems like the most realistic thing for me because I'm used to RC driving this way. I don't really have any tips and tricks to tell you here other than I go full throttle layer. I just let off up the hill. Um, I learned to jump far for that jump so that you're not hit the down because it's a little bit faster there. This one you want to hit the down. Next one, full throttle. And then you come around here, let off a little bit so you're not too far offline because you want to try and tuck that corner. I then take that on a diagonal towards that little hump, ride the hump, come around. That's a braking zone come in here this is let off so you don't overshoot that corner and then that's a let off and then full throttle let off and then that was too wide but that's basically how I run the track oh I'm up to middle of the pack already in lap two no we're on lap three so I did a 37 a 38 and a 35 and uh, I got a little bit sideways there that guy's chasing me down but you can see I got my inside line he gave more gas there he tucked in a nicer line so I'm sure we'll be back and forth, back and forth throughout this whole race, but there's no one else in this event that I knew personally. This is a world event, so there's people from all over the world in it. So this is different than my normal club racing that I was doing with the uh, Ontario Off-Road VRC Racing. This is VRC Worlds, and this will likely be the last VRC video that I make uh, now that we're into summer and real racing has taken over. Uh, yeah, but VRC was really fun. I did enjoy it a lot, and it was cool to end my little series on a world event oh there was a rollover on the pipe by uh, that guy in blue oh, there was a screw up that caught me a lot of time but the guy in blue behind screwed up as well so I didn't even lose a position or really much space Ooh, that was a close one so I rode the pipe but I was able to catch it I th it's been a week or so since I ran this race so I think I ended up just being able to fix a lot of my mistakes Maybe I got one Marshall, I'm not entirely sure, but at the end of this all, we will check the official world stats. I'll show you everyone's position, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> there was a lot of heats. Everyone just seems to be running their own race right now. There's really not that many exciting battles happening. 
just gonna jump up to well that guy's trying to catch me just gonna watch the first place guy here for a while uh, Vince so I'm currently in third and Vince and Shane are and now I'm up in the second so now I'm up in the second but I'm 9.3 seconds behind Vince um, Shane is now two seconds behind me Oh, Shane, the person in blue? Or is it the person in white? I can't tell who we're tracking. Person in white. And then Kyle is the person in blue. Noah is in green. Lee is in gray. James is in red. All right. Oh, I'm up in the second place right now, but I'm 9.3 seconds behind the leader. Ooh, another pipe ride. But not too bad. I didn't really lose much time there. Let's see how far I am. Now I'm, I moved up half a second 9.3 to 8.8 .8. so I'm closing the gap ever so slowly and we're about halfway through this race so how far is Vince Vince is a couple corners ahead all right let's see how far behind I am now oh I fell down two positions Ooh, mid-race, I fell down two positions. So those two guys did get ahead of me. I missed when that happened. So now I'm currently in fourth. Let's see if I can get ahead of these two. We've got three minutes left. All right, break. It's breaking too late. Usually I try and break there right at the end of the starting grid where the paint ends. Uh, I will start breaking, letting off and then breaking. Suspension setup and stuff is all fully stock, so there is nothing you can do. Because we're playing spec buggy, there's no adjustments you can make. You cannot change or stiffen or tighten or adjust your geometry of your suspension at all. The only thing you can do is steering angle, gearing, uh, body, and wing for and tires. And appearance. Here we go. Catching up. Get him on the inside. Come on. Tuck in. Yep, yeah, he went wide. Ooh, but he got a better shot out of the corner. Okay. Now up in the third. Try and do that smooth, full jump. Come around. I usually try and take that one around the middle of the... Whoa, a little bit squirrely there, but I was able to recover. So uh, that was... Shane just got caught up there, which led me to get ahead. So I am currently, as of right now, in position two. If I stay ahead of Mr. Blue here, I'm in position two. Boom. Yeah, uh, 8.5 seconds behind the leader, currently in position number two. With a minute and a half left to go. No, more than that. We're coming up on the eight-minute marker. see where I am after this lap where's mr. where's mr. Vince so I'm now 8.6 seconds behind I fell back a bit Vince is a quarter of a track ahead it seems let's just see how he does his lap here because he just started this lap so he comes around hits oh he went wide there he's not looking a whole lot tighter than I am he's just overall a little bit faster I guess because, yeah, he's kind of blowing his apexes a little bit. All right, so he's 14 laps. I'm coming around. I'm two corners behind him. And then after I cross the line, 7.8. That was a good lap for me, so I, I moved up a whole second on him. Let's see how close I can get. we got one minute left. Currently holding position two. Looks like uh, three and four fell back. So, uh, yeah, uh, Kyle and Shane fell back six and four seconds behind each other this is cumulative right so that's four seconds behind him he's six seconds behind me I'm 7.8 seconds behind Vince now I'm just one corner ahead cross the line 5.3 seconds I'm reeling him in we got 30 seconds left and I'm oh there was a big mistake oh I would have had him too I was able to, it would have been a really close last couple of laps had I have not made that mistake. That sucks. 
So I, yeah, I'm thinking that I did not win this based on this information. Because <laughs> uh, I'm already five seconds behind him. And time is over now. Race time is over. Finish your lap and we are done. So another mistake. Wow, rough lap last. Rough last lap. This is just like real life when I was at Bego Racing. This is what it was like. Blow it on the last lap. Have a great race. Blow it on the last lap. So that's that's my race. 10 minutes, 15 seconds in. And in the end, wow, look at that. That last lap killed me. I was 5.3 seconds behind him. And then by the end of the race, I was 13.7 seconds behind him. Just because I had those three baubles and one marshal. Ooh, bad last lap. But thankfully, I didn't lose a position. So I still finished in second. He finished a full 13 seconds before me, so we'll go and we'll check the worldly stats next. So here's my C main position. That was Vince from the USA 1. I was in second position, 13 seconds behind. Then Shane from Great Britain. Dutch something? Sorry. US, US, Canada, US, US, US. Uh, the person who won all of this in club level? I'm not sure if this is just showing the club level, but Andy Jesperson. Yeah, we are still looking at club level uh, runs. So Andy Jesperson won this club level from Canada. Good job, buddy. The main winner was Greg Harmer. C main winner, which that sucks. I thought I had that because when I finished my qualifying, or when I ran my main, I was first. And then Vince came in with like an hour left and beat me. So good job, Vince. You got me. D main, Rick won. E main, F main, G main, H main. So that's where I am. And let's just see in sport level. And here's a whole nother series of sport drivers. So Carter Sims won the A. Kevin Kitchen won the B. Holly Ardenado won the C. Brad Hefner with the D. Brad Daybeck with the E. And Christian Christos with the F. Australia won the A main in sport. And we'll go to pro. And pro winner was USA, Rob Gillespie. But check this out, Matthew Stacy. He's a local Ottawa racer. He hasn't been out to the track in a very long time, but um, he used to be extremely fast. And it's interesting to see that he still plays VRC. He's top five in this game, which is, yeah, he's blistering fast on the track. It's nuts. So yeah, A main winner, Rob Gillespie. B main winner, Nicola from Italy. C main winner, Joe Giddy from USA. D main winner, Peter Haima. Now, just out of curiosity, I want to see how quickly, how quick his laps are. Uh, he was doing laps in 33 seconds. What's his fastest? His fastest lap was 33-1, the A main winner, and he had one Marshall of 35-8. Versus me, I was doing 37, 38, 39, 36, all over the place, really. Uh, it looks like I had two incidents and then my worst lap, by far my last lap, 44 seconds. Best lap was a 35.7. I know I've gone faster on the track before, but not during this main. So that was 2020 VRC Worlds 1.8 electric spec buggy. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching.